Hey, welcome back to Shotoku Tech. I hope you've been enjoying my TTGO T-Watch 2020 adventures. Judging by your comments, your likes, and your views, it seems like you are. And I'm really happy with the latest firmware, and so I'm going to keep my T-Watch 2020 just as it is running that latest firmware because it's a complete package for that watch. If they bolt something else on, I'll be happy to add it. But after working with the TTGO T-Watch 2020, I went back and got this TTGO T-Watch. This is the 2019 version. So in the case itself, you have the Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, the great display, the power management, the motion sensor, but you also add an SD card slot. So I think that that's really cool. And then this kit includes all these other sensors externally, and there's an i to c expansion board so you can attach multiple sensors to the TTGO T-Watch 2019 at the same time. Let's take a look here. Looks like it's got two buttons. It's got USB type C. There's your SD card slot, and this slot is for the watch band itself. So you see the watch band passes through there. So yeah, the TTGO T-Watch is running a ESP32 with an inch and a half LCD touchscreen, three access accelerometer, the power management, and the real time clock module. Those are all in the case. Like I say, it looks like you get an extra button and you have an SD card slot. So here's the diagram with everything attached. I've gone ahead and ordered this LoRa and GPS backplane. I don't have that yet, but that's really going to expand on the capabilities of this device. So let's see what else comes in the kit. You've got a button module, a microphone sensor, uh, looks like it's a LED or LED as they call it. DHT12 module, that almost sounds like some kind of moisture sensor, I'm not sure. Maybe it's a joystick, I'm confused. We're gonna do an unboxing so we'll figure it all out. You've got your infrared sensor, photo sensitive module, a relay module, potentiometer, a door switch, two steering gears, one servo expansion module, and then the single bus adapter module and extra cables. And these combined enable you to hook up multiple sensor modules to the same device at the same time. 10 times compatible Lego latch. So if you're a Legos fan, you might be wanting one of these right away. All right, let's get going on the unboxing here. Okay, so this looks like a very kid-friendly package. Maybe not as scientific as I thought it would look, but let's go ahead and open it up here. It's pretty small. I haven't even opened this yet, so you're seeing it with me for the first time. Wow, looks like it's got a lot of cool stuff here. Obviously, here's the TTGO watch. Yeah, there's that SD card slot I was talking about. Two buttons, USB-C type. Looks like it's the same display dimensions. Let's see what we got here. Oh, okay, so that's the Lego, the 10-piece Lego whatever. <laughs> Here's this I to C extension with all these extra cables here. This looks like a cover for the PIR uh, sensor, so I guess it's going to detect human motion or something. There's your watch band. Okay. More cables. Oh, see, they all have... They all have Lego compatible so, sort of mounting there. So there's two servos. Again, looks like you could uh, attach them to a Lego somehow. That's very interesting. So that's that two motors. Okay, so here's your door switch. It's got a couple of magnets, so it's like a magnetic relay. Let's see what else we got here. Okay, so there's my USB-C cable. Got to have one of those. I'm going to move some of this stuff out of the way as we've seen it already because kind of fumbling around here. Oh, that's nice. You get a little polishing cloth and, uh, oh yeah, there's a screwdriver because you've got to take the back off to insert the watch band there. Or if you want to strap on that groovy GPS LoRa backplane onto this, you're going to open up the case and stack that on here. It's like a little joystick, yeah. Moves in all four directions, and it's got a push button. So that I think that's that DHT thing that I was confused about. Hard to tell what that is. I don't know what that is. We're going to have to find out. <laughs> Let's see. Is there any instructions in here? What? Oh, no instructions. Look at that. No instructions. Are you sure there's no instructions? No instructions. There's no instructions in here. <laughs> 
Okay, that looks like your light emitting diode or LED as they call them. I'm guessing that's the photosensitive module here. I'll hold that up for you. I'm guessing that's the photosensitive module. That looks like a PIR module, so infrared detection, like motion sensor. There's your potentiometer, obviously. There's a couple here. It's going to take a minute for me to figure out what they actually are. Okay, so this, I think, is going to drive the servos. Man, that's your servo driver. This is a great kit. I'm excited. Yeah, see, that's a microphone, I'm thinking. What's this? This just looks like a two-bus adapter. I don't know. Wow. Okay, well, I, I think that's been enough excitement for one day. I'm going to get to work on this right away and start playing with it. Okay, well, I hope you will stay tuned for more TTGO T-Watch adventures. Thank you very much. Give this video a like. Click down below for the links in the description. Click up here to subscribe and click over here to check out the TTGO playlist. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching Shotoku Tech. Please subscribe, comment, like, and share.